Hello and welcome everyone to 4.5 PvP Platinum Time. Today I'm your host Player Zero and we are back for more 4.5 net battling action. So I'm sure most of you are familiar with EXE 4.5, but in case this is one of the few streams you've joined or you've joined you haven't joined in a while, then this refresher could be helpful. So 4.5 is a side game that was released in Japan only, but thanks to the hard work of the Battle Network community, we've had it translated and available for everyone to play. But you might wonder, why is this so special? How is it different from 4 or 5? Why is it 4.5? And the main gimmick behind the game is that you can play as 21 different navies from 4, 5, and I believe even some of the earlier games. navies you haven't seen anywhere else, or you haven't played as anywhere else, like Bates or Starman. There is also a special patch made by Grega Master that adds normalness battling. The normal game has slightly different mechanics, but we won't go into that for now. But this patch also adds a lot of balance changes and new abilities, um, which uh, you'll be seeing be get used a lot. And I'll be posting a link in chat that can show you the abilities of each navi. But there will also be a short description on the setups for each match. And there is also an important rule for this tournament in that art submissions were mandatory. So for every match, we're going to be taking a look at the art as well as the setup for each match. And if you've missed the opportunity to join this tournament and you're looking for more net battling action, then signups for the first new moon in 2023 are still open. So the first format we're starting with is going to be a linked navies, which is basically 4.5 but for battle network. And it has all the loved battle network 6 navies as well. And signups will end today. So if you're looking to join, make sure to head to the NONGP Discord and use exclamation humor in chat to get all the signups information. I believe that's pretty much everything before we start. So going to be joining us on commentary today is Solex Cross. Hello, Sol. What's up, everybody? Glad to be here. And of course, I'm so excited to see some more 4.5 navvies being played. Yeah, definitely. I mean, 4.5 is a very unique format, which we've only been able to see recently thanks to Tango. And the first tournament we've had for it was, I mean, a few months ago. So, yeah, for sure. It was a little while ago, but I'm glad it's back. Oh, no, Flaptarp, I love you. It's OK. I love you, Flaptarp. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Before we start, I do want to give a quick shout out to the donations we've received since the last stream. And there was a six dollar monthly donation from Red Ace 100 without a comment. Thank you for the continued support. And I believe they were the first person to try our monthly donations and continue it so far. So thank you for the oh, generosity. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's really cool. Um, we've also received a donation from China TV for five dollars saying happy to see another stream. And then during Starting soon, we received another $30 from Zed Christmas saying, My tithe for the continued hard work of everyone involved in the NWGP. Love you all, and thank you for the donation. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching, dude. Yeah. Also, I think I've mentioned it last stream, but if anyone's donating to the uh, um, Kofi, the NWGP Kofi, then make sure to head to the NWGP Discord so we can add your millions role as well. And make sure your name either is similar or send someone a message in. It's one of the mods a message and we can get the handle. All right, and with that all out of the way, we're going to be taking a look at the setups for our first match of the day with Alpha vs Yutus Delete. All right, so this is 4.5, which admittedly for me, I'm not really an expert on the format. I haven't really done much building or playing for it. <laughs> no but worries, dude. The one thing I can comment on about is the art. And that's, uh, yes, sir. The, <laughs> that's the universal <laughs> part of it. All right. First of all, ball mode is life. I don't want to hear nothing else or anything else ever said. Ball mode is life. And that's true. This art is perfect. There's nothing wrong with it. It is unflawed. 
is in fact the best piece of art in this entire unbiased of course completely <laughs> unbiased this is the best piece of art I think we've had this whole tournament I mean there might be other base art in the tournament so you never know we might have ties for fast place. <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure. And then followed, I think this is OC art from Iris Tuiris. He gave us like a, a golden looking Mega Man and he named it Yeet Man. I mean, he's obviously not supposed to be Mega Man, but who can deny the facial features that look almost exactly like one of our favorite beloved blue boys? His skin is blue, bro. Like, <laughs> that, is, <laughs> that is fair. It's so true, bro. <laughs> this is my golden form. He's ascended to the next level. <laughs> For sure. But it's actually really cool. All right, I love yeah. the giant arm. Kind of gives me like Kingler vibes, right? How he has that giant claw versus his little claw. I'm not sure what other animators are about that, though. Going back to Alpha's art, I'm surprised it's basketball because I thought that's the Spouse Man uh, thing with the shooting dart shots into the hole. True, true. But now let me allow you to play basketball with any Navi. There's a battle chip in this game that isn't in any other game called Ball Mode. What Ball mm -hmm. Mode does is it changes your P shot into whatever that is similar to <laughs> like sword mode or yo-yo mode it changes your p shot into that chip or that bow chip so instead of like setting up p shots you'll start throwing cannonballs oh. so he's he's gonna be throwing cannonballs and then throwing more cannonballs into the hole oh wow, okay nice, so nice. at the end of the day alpha's real win con here is to play basketball <laughs> and score as many points before the end of the game as he possibly can, bro. <laughs> so that's the real win card, bro. Yeah, that is the real win. And I do want to know, did anyone ever use that with the Spout Man? I don't think so because you don't really have to, right? Spout Man's already, he's, already, he's see, that's how bonafide G he is. He's already playing basketball out the gate. You know what I'm saying? He's always, he's scoring his buckets. You feel me? So other navvies need a fraction of his power in order to imitate him, bro. Like, they so can't true. even do it, bro. <laughs> so true. So true, bro. Baby be balling, bro. <laughs> but yeah, these arts are perfect, but I think it's time we look a little bit into the setups for each Navi. Starting with Yiris Delius, we see Iceman being played here. Iceman has some crazy stats. Low HP, arguably, which is 1300. It used to be much lower. The 13, it was raised, I believe, by 400. I think he had 900 before. Wow. And he was brought back up. Yeah, no, it was really bad. It's the same thing for Spoutman, too. Spoutman had 1,000 HP before, but they were raised significantly, which is necessary because some of the best chips in this game are pretty much elect chips. Like, you have Magbolt 1 in Star Code, and it has, like, elect pulse range and i think it does the same amount of damage as elect pulse one and it paralyzes the only difference here is it doesn't pierce invis which is probably why it's decent in star code versus elect pulse one but it's still a really solid chip and that this other really great elect chips in star code or in numerous amounts of codes that any navi can utilize that isn't elect man or thunderman so obviously that HP needed to be raised for Iceman in order for him to survive a bit longer in the matches. Now, the powerful thing about Iceman and Spoutman are that you can chip charge these water chips in order to increase the damage. And the most popular chip that's been going around recently to coincide with this has been Twin Fang. Of course, there's also Wide Shot. Wide Shot is a very, very powerful water chip that you can pretty much guarantee a hit if you stand in the center and you let it go but with twin fang they home in on the enemy they cause non-flinching damage and they do twice the amount of damage two times right so each fang is doubled and it's it's pretty powerful it's a very powerful aqua chip and it's been what's been keeping stoutman really up there in the top tiers and even iceman because that chip charge is incredibly devastating Now, looking over at base side here, 
Alf is playing base, of course. Base has no weakness as a null navi. 1500 HP, really solid stats. The downsides of this navi come in the form of a lower starting buster attack and the fact that it's pretty predictable to play around, right? His charge shot is shooting buster and darkness overload, but since there's a lack of super armor and basis kit, shooting buster can be punished really badly by most navi's charge shots alone. And darkness overload, you can camp one specific square and deny darkness overload if you have access to that square. You can also put a hole there and that would be another way to deny him. That's something Spoutman can do is like use a charge shot, break the hole in his frontmost panel and stop him from doing anything. So it's going to be really interesting to see how Alpha plays around his opponent trying to deny his panels, trying to deny everything else. And then on top of taking the double damage from the water, it's going to be a pretty tough matchup for base here. Yeah, I mean, I just realized, but you said he's going to play basketball, but I think it would be more fitting if we say that base is going fishing. He's just throwing his uh, no. bait down no. the hole. He's <laughs> just going fishing. I mean, it's perfect. Well, what more do you want from it? He's throwing the ball as bait. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. You know, actually, that's kind of funny because as he's throwing this ball, your opponent's going to line up all of us. This is going to be a free laser man set of, oh, I'm just going to use anti Navi, or I'm going to use my own laser man or line, line nuke. Just to <laughs> okay, there you go, yeah. yeah, it's me. Yeah, true, true, true. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that being said, there's not really much to go over now. Uh, I think we're more than ready to go into this match. All right, let's see how they do. All right, and as we can see, Alpha decided to have a red buster up. So one thing that's more common in Link Navis or 4.5 is that Navis have a lot of different stats. So for example, um, base would start with three buster attacks. So these two buster ups would bring him back to five, which is the normal range. Right, the buster ups are really powerful for base too because it changes his charge shot into, well, specifically Student Buster, right? It changes it from a 20 damage charge shot to like a 35 off of the two Buster Ups, which is a lot of damage, right? You want to be able to pile that on as much as possible, as early as possible. Interesting defensive play here. Oh, able to avoid a times two Blizzard, which is really nice. But here we get to see why Iceman is so scary. Mm. And there it is. After making all those ice panels, you know, the possibility of getting times two on Blizzard is just icing on the cake, right? But because this charge shot, the ball can throw, be thrown and make more. Oh, oh my gosh, wow. The ice panel is just really putting a dent into Alpha here. Yeah, I mean, don't worry, Sol. We all, we all saw what you did there. It was the icing on the cake. You, you, you like that, right? That was, yeah. that was pretty nice, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> That's good, I like it. <laughs> Laser man, we're whiff and we go right into the end of the turn. So you see Iceman's first charge shot, or actually his original charge shot, was Freeze Bomb. Ice Slasher is a new one that was added onto his kick. Freeze Bomb, when thrown, does damage on that entire row and also makes ice. So you're able to spread ice so quickly. And if you can confirm any other awkward ship, Ice Bang is pretty much guaranteed. You see there, Ice Slasher gonna go ahead and take away some of the... Oh, Ice Slasher, I forgot. On hit, it makes a panel, and then you have oh, enough time man. to get a second hit. Yeah, this is such a good charge shot. Yeah, and Ice Man's kit is really amazing. Unfortunately, at the start of that turn, Alpha used their um, slow gauge as TFC, which made the turn much worse for them because they had no way of dealing with that life aura. Yeah, a well-timed life war can be the detriment for a lot of players. Ooh. Element Ice! Cat, oh, Cat, you moving forward too, gonna get frozen oh, another okay. times too. Okay, the, a barrier is up now. You're gonna want to throw it on this invis and just let loose all these charge shots as fast as you can under the slow gauge. Nice, that's really good. Really good RNG for that shot just now. Good, racking up some decent damage here with the Shooting Buster. 
and makes it to the next turn. This recover 300 is going to be pivotal, but if you take this, that means you're playing a more defensive turn, which isn't too bad since we have Shooting Buster online. I definitely think it was preferable to go for that. We'll see if he will regret the choice. Oh, no no emphasis to stop here. Oh, okay. Oh, this is really bad. Another HP 300 comes down, and there goes the charge shot. Don't get caught on ice, oh, this no. GC. Yeah. Yeah. Iceman is incredibly scary. If you allow all that ice to be set up, there's not a lot you can do about the fields in this game at the moment. So it's pretty tough to deal with, unfortunately. Ooh, and these hands are looking rough as well. So basically playing with custom five and just having these different codes means you're very much limited on how many chips you can take into attack. So it makes decision of what you want to take very difficult as well. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Actually, Slimes in Switch Hat brings up an excellent point. Yidus Deletus did not finish off the <laughs> opponent with B back kick, and, and that's a loss for me, fam. I'm, I'm sorry, that's that's not a real win anymore, bro. You had the opportunity to be the first one on stream to end somebody with kick, and you didn't do it. <laughs> GG's, bro. <laughs> yeah. GG's. I don't, so, want, I don't uh, want to hear it, my boy, yo. <laughs> so I was oh, just going to say, if you're wondering, <laughs> what is this kick thing Sol is talking about? And yes, you can literally do a kick as Iceman. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> this is a terrible setup for Yidus Deletus right now. The two ice, not ice cubes, the two rock cubes in the back row definitely going to be problematic. Oh, Cannonball trying to get the juicy time two, but when he gets instead, it's a roll lock. This is insane right now. Nice. Going to be able to take a chip thanks to the command code on search, man. But OK, he can move out. He can move out. Nice, nice. I think you're going to want to stay in the back row. You don't want to come forward, and that's exactly why. You can just, just be in range for some chips that you didn't have no business taking in the first place. A lot of damage has been dealt this match, but this is actually still looking fairly close. About 100 HP difference and recovery 300 coming out from Alpha. Mm -hmm. It's not bad at all. Not looking too bad at all. And actually, I don't... I think we've explained the swap mechanic. Do you want to go over that? The what mechanic? Swap, swapping the charge. Oh, uh, swap. Yeah, swapping is really interesting in this game. Swapping allows you to change your Navi's charge shots. Not every Navi has access to this ability, of course. However, if you don't have the swap mechanic, that means you have the left ability, which is something like shield usually, or uh, in Iceman's cake, the case, wow. <laughs> he has a B back kick in addition to his charge shot, so it's really cool. But um, yeah. Oh my gosh, yeah, that hurts. That's a lot of damage. Yes. Oh, okay. Bone chilling amount of damage. Not ending the turn is an interesting choice. Still gets the anti damage in there too, due to the one frame opportunity. That's actually pretty good for Alpha. We see a laser man in hand. Now, what's interesting here is that Alpha doesn't have a way to seal the game out. He's gonna have to stay with Shooting Buster. Okay, area grab comes down. Does he have another one? No, just the one. Yeah, this is unfortunate. Interesting choice. Has another Invis in hand. Nice, um, excellent timing. Gets the wasted chip as well. Can let loose at least one turn of this. Oh, Black Weapon comes into play too. Now, Black Weapon is really interesting here. I think going for defense is a much better play, but what Black Weapon does is it increases your attack by five, but gives you a severe HP bug. But if you combo that with bug fix it removes that dra hp draining property and just gives you a really powerful buster which would make base attack 10. and that's kind of the strategy base usually goes for alongside shooting buster to try and rack up as much damage as he possibly can it's a little tough to draw into sometimes and still feel safe because of that that unfortunate cust 5 situation but it t tends to work out it's just, it's just a little rough on base.
black weapon is in play now, so we're gonna see a lot of damage thanks to Shooting Buster. Oh, oh nice, dodge the second one, element fire. You, okay, in the ice, actually, you don't have to move up, just stay where you are. Nice, nice, nice. excellent. Oh, that was so fortunate. Okay, so basically during the charge shot of shooting Buster, Alpha had access to anti-damage, so he was able to just put up a wall essentially and eat up all that damage in one go. Yeah, I mean, it might be a mechanic you're familiar with from Buster's Fork 6. It's basically just extending your anti-damage through an animation. Absolutely. Okay, here comes ball mode. Now this is gonna be really interesting. Ooh, there it goes. Nice! Just taking all the area and making it a safe zone for himself and also drawing access to his Giga Chip Signal Red. I almost want him to drop it immediately and then go for the the wind rack here. That way he can just guarantee the safety of that signal red. Ooh, Black oh, that's so strong. What does Signal Red do? Okay, Signal Red. While it's red on the red light, that means you cannot play any battle chips as the opposing player. But you do have a few seconds when it's blue to use a battle Ooh. chip. Oh, but Ice Man's charge shot! It turned it into an Ice Cube! That's insane! What? No, the 1 HP! That's crazy! I didn't realize that's how that worked! That's so bad! That's so bad! That's crazy, <laughs> yeah. I mean, in, it, in that, we saw another um, new mechanic for 4.5 as well. So you can use an input command and that will allow you to put objects behind you to protect them. So what Alpha did there was they put the signal red behind them, tried to protect it, but then that charge shot didn't care anyway. Just changed that to just an ice cube that disappears. Oh my gosh, the Twin Fangs, they do so much damage and they move so quickly, it's kind of hard to react to them sometimes. Very tough, very tough. Yeah, dude, that was actually a decent start for Alpha. They were able to avoid a lot of hard-hitting chips and only got hit by one of the uh, one of the attacks. Searchman definitely confirms they're gonna go ahead and delete a chip. Doesn't matter, still have more of these in the back. And I'm gonna be setting up my shop with these ice walls here. Man, Iceman is so strong. This is really scary. Doubling down on area here, trying to grab it all back. Oh, oh and man. another freezing opportunity! Oh. It's so opportunity! I wonder if it's just a mashing issue here versus maybe an actual confirm? I, I, it might be mashing. I'm not sure. Not nice, bad. nice, very nice. Okay, so here's what's important. The reason why Alpha went for the Darkness Overload charge shot here is because even on Whiff, you do get to recur that 100 HP barrier, which is 100% necessary to your survival at this point. Base doesn't have access to any time two on any battle chips or anything like that. So he really needs to capitalize on this barrier and confirming this charge shot as often as he possibly can to give himself some kind of longevity. Oh, the unfortunate Kenderman ended up missing to that anti-damage. Oh, you don't want to be in this range at all. I would definitely be letting... Oh, okay, that's not Darkness Overload. I didn't realize he switched. Well, let's go out again. <laughs> I feel like... I'm, is it wrong? Is Darkness Overload a bit too risky in here? Or is it the better play? Well, it gives you the barrier back, right? And that's kind of why I, I like it. Okay, yeah, this is going to get rid of the anti-damage here. So for those who don't know, what Video Man actually does is something similar to Judgment for Battle Number 6. It takes back, it does some damage obviously, but it takes back area that your opponent stole from you and immobilizes them. It doesn't paralyze, it immobilizes them if it hits. Nice, Darkness Overload. After Wait, mm -hmm. did, that, did that just remove the life aura from a charge? Yes. 
Yes. So after attack five and then also getting black weapon, your charge shot on Darkness Overload breaks life for her. So yeah. that's why it's really strong. And now having the wind rack for this pesky black barrier here, very nice. Ooh. And the area grab TFC, that's going to be all wasted and there is going to come back. But this is still looking very rough for Alpha. Ooh. Oh, the freeze too! Oh, no. kind of not confirmed, not confirmed. It's too slow. Oh, oh no, oh. the double hit. That recovery definitely saved Alpha's life just now. Oh man, wow, that was so close. But hmm, so does Iceman torture only convert objects on ice panels? Or yeah, well, it doesn't freeze automatically, right? But it changes the panel into ice on hit, and it also can't freeze on hit. Oh my gosh, that does so much damage. I was wondering if the signal red would be safe if they place it at the very back of their field. Oh, well, in this game, you actually can't do that. It would oh, disallow for you to actually be able to place back row objects on your opponent's field, but you can place it in the arrow back most of that panel yourself. Oh, it's very interesting. Yeah, it's going to be the most preferable for Alpha to just kind of camp back and go for deals. And just camp forward with, uh, well, not camp back, camp forward with Life Aura. Oh, oh yeah. No! That immediate Life Aura answer is so brutal playing against it. You have your strong defense, but then out of nowhere, it's just gone. Wow, that was extremely tough. Having double damage on almost every chip in your folder just gets rid of Life Aura so easily. You can even get away with running one or two wind racks. You don't even need more wind than that. Or like Windman Star. <clears throat> yeah, it's such a tough matchup. Such a tough matchup. Base, unfortunately, I, I, I did a tier list a long time ago about what I thought about the Navis in this game, and I think I overestimated the abilities that Base has. He, he's just... <laughs> what know, a bro. surprise! <laughs> you buy it for this. <laughs> no, crazy, right? But it, it, he's just not good, bro. <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry. Uh, he's just such a rough navy to use in this format. Cus five is really rough. Then, of course, the, like you predictable charge shots, not having any super armor for shooting buster. It's just, it's not a good time. But those things aside, it was excellently played from both players. Alpha did his absolute best. Had some really good setups to even take a round, in fact. It was a really good match from them both. Yeah, great, definitely. Great game. Well yeah. played. Before we head into the setups for our next match, we did receive a donation from Diasios, donating $5 with no message. But thank you for the donation. All right, our next setups or next match for the day is going to be Pass by Word vs Tiago. So again, starting with the most important part of the build is going to be the art. So looking at Tiago's art, he's playing as Woodman and he's just lying there and taking a nap. <laughs> but then conversely, we do have our dearly beloved Kawaii Ooze art. <laughs> <laughs> and it actually has a message on the art, which is so nice. It says, thanks to PZ for the tournament and Salad and Nerith for sign-up sheets and number one Spoutman and Beast fan and hype caster Solex Cross. I really appreciate that. And I'm sure the N1GP appreciates this message too. Oh, on the bottom it says, and thanks N1GP too. Yeah. There you go. We all appreciate that. Thank you so much for this amazing part, this cycle. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Pass by World is relatively a new starter, but he's been playing a lot of matches and really participating in the community in tournaments, which is always very nice to see. He's definitely moving up there in terms of his uh, improvement and level of play. Dude, our, I played, oh, okay. I played against him with my base this, this uh, 
tournament. And yo, he was playing so well with Stout Man, using the charge shot to break the panel and deny darkness overload. Obviously, he had the times two damages using Magnums effectively. He, it was really impressive. It was really impressive on how well he played that matchup. He's gotten so good at this game, dude. It's unbelievable. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it shows dedication and what joining tournaments will do for you. I mean, yes. Everyone starts somewhere, and the only way to improve in anything in life you know, is to actively be involved in it, right? If you want to be a great artist, then you have to draw. You can't just not draw and expect to be good. If you want to be a great <laughs> lyricist, you have to write lines. You have to practice rapping. You got to do what you got to do to become a better lyricist. You know what I'm saying? Like, it yeah. doesn't I mean, just come to you. I mean, and if you practice making puns, then you'll eventually become fantastic at it. So you never know. All right, with that, let's take a look no, at it. No, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. Oh, no. Easy, get out. No. Oh, I, I hate it here so much. Oh, fucking kaboom. Is... Look, I saw the opportunity. I had to go for it. Fair enough. Fair enough, bro. Okay, yeah. Let's get the setups now. We, let's start off as Woodman. Woodman is an amazing Navi in this in this format. Actually, he was nerfed not too long ago. His charge shot used to, his charge shot death force specifically, used to spawn three or four wood towers. And he had a lot more bulk, 200 more HP to be exact. No, 300 more HP. I think he had, I think he had 2000, just like uh, Nightman. I could be mistaken, but it was brought down to 1700 from wherever it was at. And death force now only spawns three towers specifically it doesn't spawn four anymore i personally think the fourth tree should come back i think that was a little interesting rng that came out of woodman and i don't know i, I don't know how other people feel about it but i don't think that should have been a change that was made Otherwise, he does have really good stats to boot for, which is probably why the nerf was made in the first place, right? He has super armor and status card, which, if you guys don't know, is an amazing combination of the abilities to have because status card says you cannot be frozen. You can't be paralyzed. You can't be immobilized. You ignore all these different status effects. And, of course, having super armor means my charge shots don't get interrupted. My attacks don't get interrupted. It's a really powerful thing to have is super armor and status card together. And, I mean, the best feature is you get a big jump. You can jump really, you can jump really big. <laughs> yeah, yeah, jump good. If, if for you, for you, uh, Samurai Jack fans out there, he jumped real good. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, another thing that isn't listed here, I see, is that we do get to chip charge wood chips and deal two times damage with them. So that does mean that. You can use things like White Web 3 or Boomer and chip charge them to do double damage, which is really strong to have on a Woodman or any elemental Navi in general, right? Whenever you have the ability to double your damage, it's, it's for free. Like, come on, who's not going to take that, right? Now, looking over at Baby, Spout Man. Aquaman, if you're fancy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is pretty much the official name now. Yeah, yeah we don't talk yeah. about that. No. <laughs> it's Spellman. It's Spell Baby, for sure. <laughs> that I but agree yes. on, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we, we do have the chip charge for Times to Aqua, just like before with Iceman, but this time on a different character. And we also get the healing on aqua chips here as well this is a really solid ability to have any kind of recovery is always going to be especially strong you don't get the freezing capabilities that iceman has which can as we just saw be very debilitating upon anybody who's playing against that but the, having the option to recover is always really nice and especially since every navi here has undershirt that allows you to have a little bit more survivability now, the charge shot here is amazing. Unlike in Bowman Rick 6, in Bowman 4.5, when Spoutman shoots his charge shot, it does break the panel. It cracks the panel, excuse me. On the second charge shot, it breaks the panel. Now, usually in Bowman Rick 6, if you used another charge shot into a hole, it would just fizzle or it would bubble in the spot, right? 
However, here, what happens is it explodes similar to a geyser battleship and it hits in a plus like formation. Yeah, so you can use that to practice uh, shooting your shooting your shots, basically. <laughs> exactly. So you're playing basketball and now it's being rewarded because you're scoring buckets. And uh, that's what I like. <laughs> I want to be rewarded. <laughs> Shoot. But yeah, it's it's really, really powerful addition to his kit. It allows him to play a much more controlled based game, which is also really interesting to me. I also like the fact that if you are fully plus on area against your opponent and you go for the charge shot off of the screen, it will still provide you with a bubble, oh. which will allow you to continue to camp forward and still corner your opponent. You won't be making holes from it, but it still spawns a hitbox. And that is amazing detail. I really like that he has that kind of ability. Yeah. If you're familiar with the Battle Talk 6 version of Spouse Man, then you might be familiar with some of the limitations, like if or the opponent's pushing you in an area or you can't push an area, but I feel like this addition really works around it very well. It's not too mm -hmm. strong, but it's also a good mechanic that's fun to play around and gives you a good balance option. I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. That being said, there's not much more to talk about here, so we might as well hop into the match and see how things play out. Oh, this is a double vault. That is a double vault indeed. So we have Pass by Ward's point of view on the left and Thiago's on the right. And there was actually one thing I wanted to mention about Pass by Ward's build is that if you look at the their hands or if you look at the at the build itself, you'll see that this is pretty much a Battle Tork 6 build. You have most of the standard chips are ones in Battle Tork 6, and then you have Upgrade as their Giga, which is basically just a batch in 4.5. Yeah, exactly. The only major difference here versus Battle Network 6 is the prevalence of the S Brigade. And this is the SP Navis in S Code, which are Searchman, Sparkman, and Shademan. Also, each Navi starting if their names to the letter S, the code is S. This is it's perfect. I could have written this better myself. Yeah, you do have uh, another Broto Man situation. Yeah. <laughs> for sure, for sure. But those chips are really powerful and over centralizing in this metagame that most players will opt to play. Oh, trying to go for shield there. Yeah, because unfortunately, Aquaman doesn't have the ability to swap his charge shots, which is why you see it's great out there. So instead, as I said before, he has access to a shield. So he can potentially try and block. Nice, good shield, but will get punished from this here boomer. Oh, Ooh. Nice. Ooh, nice. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so that, much damage. That combo from Thiago just oh going go in. Poor pass by word, there's nowhere to go. <laughs> Now, here's the thing, right? That one looks really devastating and it did a massive amount of damage. But the nice thing about this game is that there is a comeback factor in the form of Rage. Rage isn't seen as often in Downer 6. It's Ella there, very capitalized when it does appear. But it allows the players to even up the game. Like this search man's going to clear aura? Oh, if he oh. hits. Oh, and he misses. Unfortunate. But that comeback factor allows you to be able to deal a significant amount of damage back to the opponent and still keep yourself in the game. Actually, would that, would that Searchman have cleared Dora? I thought he was just slightly short in damage, even with the time seed. Was it? Was it? It was 75 times. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm bugging. I was not going <laughs> to clear that Aura. I mean, it would have needed a plus 30 yeah. or something. Yeah, my bad. Ooh, the search nice. is coming down now. Let's see if that connects. It does. And it breaks a chip. Yes, and it also punishes the anti-damage. Now, breaking chips is so good on Searchman, especially since it works in Star. But there Ooh. we go. Showing this powerful new charge shot that Baby has access to. Because now we can actually punish Woodman for camping forward and making getting a panels appear with this charge shot. Nice, nice. Oh, you're going to be able to punish with time to time speed. Oh, oh it's so strong. And then it comes up and a punish before the Invis TFC. So good. And with the fast gauge as well, each Invis is lasting so long. So now it's going to be very difficult for Thiago to try to retaliate with his charge shots. 
I really love the folder decision making on this build for Spoutman here that Pass by Word actually came up with. It's interesting to see Fast Gates played with such a powerful Navi, right? And you get to deal so much damage so quickly and then go right into the next turn. Oh, upgrade is going to make this very scary as well. Dark Shot come out. Will Whiff? White Web is in play. Oh, okay, hold on. We do have a Giga Chip in hand, so we could go for it. Oh, but Thiago opts not to. Interesting here. Laser Man's instead. Life Aura. Okay, that's perfect because Laser Man is not only a really great utility tool, but it also helps deal with barrier as well. It has so much value in one ship. It's really strong. Yeah, I, I don't think we've really explained how he works, but I believe you can do different input command to add a new uninstalled thing that you remove from the opponent. So you can remove one custom, I think it's attack and other stuff as well. I don't remember. Yes, it is a plethora of things, actually. I don't know why he does as much as he does <laughs> in this game, but let me read you what the, this Navi does. So Laser Man, if you press up, it removes, it reduces your buster attack to one, it buster attack speed and charge to one on the up press. On the down press, it removes your super armor, air shoes, float shoes. Oh no, I think it's just super armor. On the left press, I think it removes air shoes. Ooh, nice counter oh, hit. Right press that does that. Yeah, Ooh. nice counter hit. Shark Man yeah. times two. Nice. I believe if that was point blank, then that would have done a second hit, but even just getting that single hit was... Oh, I disagree with Thiago right now. I would have went right for the, the, the Giga Chip because you know your oh. opponent is going to have to go to the center roll eventually. Ooh, oh, that, that would have been GG. It's there, he comes out though. Oh, Laser Man, oh, whiff. Okay, that buffered movement from Pass by World saved him just barely. That Boomer was almost guaranteed to connect, but at the very last second they managed to avoid it. And the Spider Man is going to land though and will close out game one. Yeah, so much value on Laser Man. So Antoniving is just so much worth. Yeah, so left is custom minus one, right is armor and shirt, and B left being removed. And then there's ones for up and down too. So it's just so much like utility you get off of this one ship. Oh, for those who are watching as well, it is a double VOD. It can be a little disorientating at first. Try to stick to one side and you'll be able to catch up very easily. Lazy Man confirms and goes for the yellow beam here, which will be getting rid of your armor and shirt and be left. Yeah. Ooh. The unfortunate honest tall, I mean the unfortunate TFC, and now let's see what this number man lands on. A wide oh, oh, one. I love the fire plus tech here, making those beautiful green panels that you want to have as a woodman player. Unfortunately, it's only a plus sign. It was nerfed it before it would make the entire field grass, but now it's only plus sign, similar to Fire Soul and Bow Nerf for. Ooh, trap now. And Twin Fang yeah. loaded up. Oh, wasting out the chips. Oh, the turn was almost over. That makes sense, I suppose. Yeah, this is the impact of slow gauge. I guess one thing that Pass by World could have done, I mean, Fast Gauge, yeah. One thing that Pass by World could have done there is they could have just held onto that hand and went into it into the next turn. Obviously, they might have been expecting more defense, which, as we can see, Thiago did take. Nice, excellent. More defense coming out from Thiago Ooh. here. Grab Revenge is gonna try and send him back, but because of that hole, they won't move at all. Oh, nice. Decent damage gets the times two thanks to the grass panel for Burner Man there. Now we do Thiago see... doing an excellent job right now. Yeah, so looking at Pass by World side, we do see a big Navi turn coming up. Let's see how much damage they can get out of this one turn. There is the anti Navi though. Nice. Gonna go ahead and deal with the anti-damage. Gets time to avoid Sparkman comes out. Getting to will not stop that. And unfortunately, you're not gonna be able to avoid your shade uh, searchman either. If this hits, it's gonna be a significant amount nice. of damage and he gets the hit. 
grab revenge, not gonna do much. Can still, oh man, so good. That charge shot hitting that plus side and it will go ahead and interrupt the charge shot coming out from Woodman's side of the field. And poor Woodman with that flinch animation. He's up. He's meant to have super armor. This is not meant to happen. True. <laughs> True. Who designed this? It should be like, fuck. Just always <laughs> have super armor. <laughs> Unflinchingly resistant. <laughs> Oh, the charge shot still came out! Oh, that's really nice, actually. Ooh, upgrade from Pass by World. Now they can very easily avoid the charge shot by just standing off the split panel. Yeah, you can even step and walk right in front of the opponent, and they just won't be able to do much about it. Not anymore, though, because yeah, you don't want to be in line of sight of that beautiful giga chip that Viago is sitting on right there. Ooh, Searchman's coming down. Let's see if Viago's able to connect. Nice. And destroys um, Pass by Wars. Searchman. Nice. Down. Goes for the Ooh. time to... Oh, so much damage! Laser Man's down. Does... Oh yeah, it does pierce him. Nice. Oh man, bug charge in hand. It's been a few turns already. That means when Diago finally decides to unleash it, it will have so much damage on that potential. Actually, do you want to explain how bug charge works? We've seen it yeah. mentioned a few times. For sure. Yeah, okay. So the way it works is it will oh, one hit. No, just one hit. All right, it does multiple hits with how many turns have passed to a maximum of 10. So that ship can do up to 800 damage if you wait till later in the game to drop it. Yeah, I mean, that is a very strong combo, which is causing that fast gauge to backfire on Pass by World. More turns are going by, which is boosting that, um, that Giga Chip, which could now pretty much even out the game. All that Thiago needs is for a couple of these. Oh, nice! Getting rid of the Sync Ray with the Boomers here! Nice! Okay. Oh, we can put the wind down to deny the opponent from going into center and then even follow up with the Giga Chip here. But you don't have to do that either. Greenwood is also in effect. This is just a lot going for Diago right now. Yeah. The opponent has no chips either. Ooh, this is rough though. Diago does have that again, but I feel like, yeah, he doesn't really want to use it because I'm not sure how how he's going to win now because yeah. It, yeah. Uh, he sequenced it a bit poorly, and now Baby's just gonna be able to go for these charge shots! Ooh. Oh, nice little dodge! Okay, you were able to dodge it once, but how do you line up for the Buckhurst now? Yeah. You don't. I think Thiago sequenced it a little wrong in the end there, right? Oh, shout out to this awesome background that Greg and Master made. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Greg and Master in the background. <laughs> <It's great. laughs> Thank you, Greg and Master, for such an awesome patch and an awesome PvP setting. I love it to death. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I think Thiago wanted to go for the wind box first to drop it on the sanctuary panel and then go for Greenwood because then your opponent can only move on to green panels. So a little bit of a sequencing error there. I will say this background might or might not have been an oh. influencing decision in picking this match. Oh my goodness. I see Burner Man in hand, not going for it though, interestingly. Yeah, I think he might be trying to move through his folder, just using these Enco chips to find a new hand, maybe something else that synergizes with Burner Man. Ooh. Oh no. Nice places are behind him, which means you won't get your wind box destroyed immediately. Goes for the get in. Oh, but Sparkman will clear yeah, out the wind box. And Searchman is still in hand too, so we're gonna be oh. able to go for that as well. Piercing Envis and Lance! Oh, so much damage! Such a powerful turn for Pass by World, just using all of these three navies at the very end of the and managing to get the damage from all of them. Ooh, this anti navy for Thiago is just one turn too late. Thanks for he does come into play. It's gonna have to damage overall from this attack. 
definitely loses out a bunch there. Uh, Anthony Abbey not doing so much work for you anymore since all the most important ships were already used. Oh, guys. Yeah, get the clip. Oh, Fire Plus Plus a Boomer here clears out all the Sanctuary panels, which is really good here. And it will give back movement to Woodman. Really powerful chip to use in this situation, especially. Oh, nice. So it would fix these broken panels then. Yep. Ooh. Very powerful chip. Oh, but Aquaman just going ahead and just taking care of all the problems. One hit, uh, but you get the two. Oh, it doesn't matter because your opponent's flashing. Fast gauge also increasing the longevity of these invisibles. Oh, it's just so good. Yeah, no, the upgrade potentially coming down. Ooh, <laughs> oh, just barely got the full synchro on that. Oh, man, I'm so sorry, Thiago. What did he roll to? A four? Ooh. That would have been crazy. Oh, man, and now baby has anger. And there's barely any defense in hand. Meanwhile, baby queuing up two twin fangs. Oh, this is going to be devastating. But on the other hand, Diego's queuing up for recovery 300 and Emphis. If he matches the Emphis, then he's going to be safe for all of the stun. Yeah, this is the power pass gauge now. Passed by world is stuck. Yeah, okay, I guess they made that decision very quickly. Just going through and keeping that hand. Oh, I do like the play for going for search man, trying to deny whatever the first ship was queued up. We all know, though, that in the back, Pass by Word did queue up a second copy of Twin Fang, so you're going to have to find a way to avoid that second one. And you're also going to have to hit this first one. Search man comes into play. No, oh, and he whips. Oh, that's Bad. really tough. You don't have much defense. A paralysis here. Oh. oh, my goodness. OK, OK, this isn't bad. This isn't bad. Go for paralysis, and now you're lined up for your Giga. Are you gonna throw it away though? Oh, this is very difficult because now Thiago could potentially die in one turn. He doesn't know what Pass My Ward has, so. He's throwing away the Giga. Oh no, how much, what turn are we at? How much damage would that be? I'll tell you in a second. Thiago might be thinking about that. Is it really? quite enough to finish the game? It would be enough to get a pea shot at least. Eight shots? Yeah, that would have been it. Goes oh. for Laser Man. T okay, there was a TFC here anyway, so it seems like it was a decent play. Grab eventual whiff. Very nice. Life Force going to come up, though. Not what you really want to see here. Anti damage is also going to come up as well. It seems like Pass by Word was fully prepared for the Giga to come out this turn. But now Windrack has an ability to be played here. We can also go for White Web. Now, what, what, what's interesting here with White Web 3 is that if your opponent has grass panels on their field, it hides the hitboxes for the White Web so they don't know where it is. And that only occurs when there's grass panels on the opposite side of the field. And white Web is pretty much just like a mine. If you step onto it, you take a bunch of damage. Yeah, it's, it's like four mines, actually. <laughs> okay, nice. Ooh, there it goes. It disappears in this though. So that will be a bit scary. Ooh. Immobilized. Oh, because the white wave when it hits it immobilizes you? I didn't realize that was the case. Kinda okay. useless if it's uh if it flashes though. But no pass by what doesn't know where it is. If they step down, then they're just going to take that hit. Oh, okay, some defense. Oh no, the wind drag comes nice. down. Ah. Nice, gets the hit. Oh, a little bit of the recovery on the grass, but he gets rid of it and decides to. Oh no, oh, I don't. Oh no. I don't think you went to that get and now you're stuck just having to take these shot shots. You can't really do much. Nice dodge. Oh, he gets a hit anyway. Okay, yeah, no, this is it. This is ZT, right? Your opponent can't go for. Ooh. Oh, it's one shot. How, how do you stop this? Laser Man is in hand. Oh, oh he just goes for a piece shot. Yeah, single charge shot landing might have been enough, but I think Pass by World would have had undershirt anyway. So, yeah. yeah, that was so close. Wow, what a nerve wracking. Oh, if you only were able to just not go for that, that, that get in there and just try to camp that grass panel and get some recovery going, that would have been 
way better in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, Fast Fire World would have been able to crack the panel, slowly work through them, but especially with Fast Gates, then that would have given Thiago some time. Maybe we would have gone into Damage Judge or maybe he could have even landed a bunch of charges to win the game. Yeah, I'm not sure if anyone's like really cares about my opinion, but I'm going to say it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely feel like Woodman should go back to having the three or four wood towers appearing when on his charge shot. Um, I think that it, it would have been fine, and I think it's definitely helpful for the character overall. But I do understand the thought process of you're able to times two your, your grass chips or your wood chips, rather. So I understand it, but I, I think he should have that back. I think it was fun. Well, I mean, might be, I mean, more RNG is always better, right? But in this right, position, right, right. <laughs> it would have been a lot of uh, broken panels from that Geddon that Thiago had. So it kind of would have worked against that strategy. But yeah, well played. Yeah. All right, who's up next? All right, our next match is going to be Reezy vs. Flop. And again, going back to it, the most important part, looking at the art and we're greeted here by the amazing art from Floptars, actually. I think that was yes. one of my favorites for the seven. I am not going to lie to you. The center roll is an excellent touch. I mean, yeah. <laughs> who doesn't like center rolls, bro? <laughs> True. All it's missing is a mech. Ooh, that is a good point. Yeah, maybe a met eating a little bit of the center roll on the side and like or maybe oh, digging through it, trying. maybe trying to oh, go in. Through with the little pickaxe. Yes, yes, <laughs> that would be perfect. <laughs> You're so true. Oh man, that'd be great. And on the other hand, we see Rizzy playing Proto Man and these signature swords, with one being clearly the better one. Um, I'll, I'll. Leave that to you to guess which one I mean. Oh, clearly you mean the Muramasa. Oh, okay, my bad. It must be the cuss sword. The, right? What's what's the cuss sword? Oh, so it's the Muramasa. You, you really like Muramasa. Did, oh, okay. Did you have... I, okay, so I see how it is. <laughs> calling, calling you out of your bias for base one too many times. Uh, what? No. What? <laughs> oh. What, bias me? <laughs> Never. Does Never. Sword even get boosted by the Proto Man boost? Does... Yeah, it actually oh. does. Um, it also caps out at 250 at a certain point, and it doesn't go like over or doesn't even if the full cuts like. Oh wait, I might be confusing this with with uh, BBN3. I mean, Dang, so what you're saying works. is that it's like all other sword ships, pretty mm -hmm. much just a worse nearby. You can just... So moving on to the <laughs> setups, right? <laughs> Let me stop. Yeah, I mean, this hit life sword range only once, though. So yeah, near value is technically better. All right, all right. Uh, are you happy yeah. now? I, oh, yeah, very much so. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> I will never validate you ever again. <laughs> that was disgusting. That, that, that made me itch inside. <laughs> I mean, you know it's the truth, uh, there's not yeah, much... I uh... <laughs> oh my... Oh, true, 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 true. Car alarms, true. That's not flop, that's car alarms. Oh, wait, am I supposed to be like... Do I actually say car alarm? Because it's an asterisk, right? It means it's a sound, it's not... It's not really a name, it, it must... So... <clears throat> That makes sense, all right. <laughs> I, I must imitate the car alarm because clearly it's not your name, it's car alarms. It's, uh, 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 yeah, that, makes more, that makes more sense. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and look at the folders at a glance. So, Proto Man has some really interesting abilities. I think he is slightly weaker than his counterpart in Balnor 6, and that's only because of the Chip Charge Step Sword. Now, Chip Charge in Balnor 6 allows you to stay in the panel that you are currently occupying and still Chip Charge your swords and go for whatever attack you're going for, right? But in this game, it gives him the ability to advance one space ahead 
and kind of like do like an instant teleport, use the sword and go back to your original space, right? Now, what that means is it makes it a little bit more difficult to camp forward with Proto Man, which is what he really wants to be doing most of the time, especially aggressively with shield. Rather reflect because he has reflect here. But um, it still allows you to go ahead and play aggressively in a way of that's different, right? It's not the same way, but it's a little bit different. And what it allows you to do is, you know, can't play the camp back game and go for like life sword. If you have a plus one area, you still can guarantee the life sword hits. Well, not even life sword, Neo Variable or Cut Sword, right? Or Muramasa. But you get the dashing in. So even if you're a negative area, you can still go ahead and try to push out damage with its effect. I still think it's obviously better for Proto Man to be in the same spot, but that's a difference between 4.5, Battle Rick 4, and Battle Rick 6, right? He didn't have the ability that he has in 6 in the older games. So it's really just a difference of what each game had available for the character at the time. And I think it's fair to just adjust your playstyle a little bit to accommodate that. Yeah, I mean, I definitely think it's very interesting. So in theory, you might think, oh, the main weakness of sword chips is that if your opponent is not tapping forward or not pushing forward on an area, then they are very difficult to connect. So this can get around it. But I think in reality, it ends up being a bit of a downside because a lot of your swords do have decent trains. So things like Cost Sword, as you've mentioned, Life Sword, or Near Vary can just hit the whole field if you wanted to. So in these cases, you might end up actually missing because of trying to chip mm -hmm. charge. So it's definitely mm -hmm. double-edged sword. Yeah, it's definitely not free. It takes a little more adjustment to get used to, but it's still a very strong ability to have. Proto Man doesn't have any weaknesses. He has custom seven, just like in Bound Arc 6. It, the reflect is still really good. His charge shot's amazing. Like it, He still has everything that you know and love from Bound Arc 6. It's just a slightly different chip charge. Or rather, a pretty radically different one. Now, looking over <laughs> best girl herself, <laughs> is playing role. Yeah. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm going to struggle trying to do that, but we'll see. <laughs> so, with, with, with role here, right? She has access to float shoes. She has first barrier, which is an amazing, amazing ability. It definitely ruins fluidity for a lot of navvies, especially since most navvies don't have attack five. They have four or three, or are usually tend to be on the lower side. So it's a little bit harder to deal with the pressure of your opponent having the first barrier. Any battleship that doesn't stand the screen gives her an additional 5% healing, which is the amazing ability to have. It allows you just to just heal very aggressively. Her charge shots are amazing. The barrier regeneration from her charge shots, pretty strong. Also, you have the roll arrow, which is very similar to Larkman Mark card in Battle Rick 6, but it's actually her ability first. The roll arrow on the hit will delete your first most chip. So getting hit by a roll arrow is the scariest thing you will ever encounter because once you get hit, there's a chip. And then if you get hit again, there's another chip. And what this allows the rollout player to do is force out TFCs. And when you're forcing out TFCs, this allows her to respond and create an interesting reaction in that kind of way, right? Another ability that she has that we all know and love. The best ability, you could say. <laughs> the best ability is the Mets. We got the Mets, baby. We love the Mets. We have the Mets. <laughs> so with any battleship, you can deposit it or sacrifice it to turn the damage output into a Met with that much HP and its own damage output, right? So let's say if I have the Blue Moon Giga Chip as <laughs> it's playing in their folder, right? So this allows you to turn that 600 damage chip into a Met that has 600 HP. Or rather, I think it counts out at 500, but it also deals like 250 damage per like strike with its pickaxe. So it's a very powerful, very massive man, and it's amazing. We all love it. And yeah, it, it does summon a literal met that can fight with your battles, which is, I, I feel like it's one of the best features in 4.5. We just have a, a fighting companion for the fight. Now, the best part about it like it, it just gets better I'm like I'm mad it gets better right so yeah. it, it makes the men and then if you have the barrier charge shot it gives the Mets a, a barrier as well so you can protect the Mets 
so you can make the Mets, the Mets can attack, and then you can protect the Mets. <laughs> it's, 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 it's crazy. It's, it's great. It's great. So, like, there's a lot of really cool things that she can do here, and it's very, very interesting. I love the way she was designed for this game. Yeah, and I mean, by the end of the match, I wonder how many times we would say Mets. <laughs> we already probably reached 20 just going through setups. <laughs> All right, I think that's definitely way more explained than we had to. Let's look at into this match and see how it plays out. Uh, so we're watching this from Reezy's point of view, playing Proto Man, and this is actually an interesting field. So, for people familiar with Button Tour Six, this is one of the different fields that some of the older games have, which is Sandpit, I believe, is the name. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Not a problem for our dearly beloved car alarms here, of course. They do have access to float shoes with rolls abilities, so you can just walk right on there. And <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, you forgot that bit. <laughs> yeah. My bad, my bad, my bad. It won't happen again, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now we do know that Reese has the ability to chip charge these really powerful battleships in the form of swords. <laughs> okay, the barrier is gone, and we do see the appearance of a man. Oh, but the oh, no. <laughs> How dare you? How dare you kill the Mets? I don't understand. No, he just got here. He oh, just got man. here. <laughs> Almost instantly. That was that was pretty rough. <laughs> Immediately getting nuked by the power How of the star. How dare you? Peasy. Oh. I hate it here, bro. <laughs> 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 Dude, I'm not happy, bro. I'm really not happy right now. How dare you kill the Mets off like that? That's that's not fair. Yeah, and unfortunately, <laughs> that is one of the weaknesses. Is that they had to waste a 260 damage chip just to. Yeah, it meant that got destroyed straight away. Right, right. But hey, that's 200 extra HP that you don't have to deal with, right? So that's another way to look at it. The Mets are actually converted into HP for roll, especially if they body block for you, right? This is a lot of HP you can possibly get. That's pretty much free recovers. That's for recover 280. That's for recover 600 or 500. And then you can also play recover in your folder too, which uh, 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 is playing two <laughs> copies of recover 300. So that was cool. Wait, so did you say if they body block for you? Do you mean you, you're not going to be the one body block protecting your mats? I, I can't believe this oh, stuff. We're, <laughs> we're gonna have to force you to the wrong council. This, this isn't no. acceptable. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, so when you come to play here, it will do damage because that wasn't, uh, it was an element trap. Not, not the right, oh no, it's element sword, I believe. Yeah. Ooh. Nice, a mag bolt here. It ends up empty though, nothing behind it to pack real punch. Probably just to get a little little damage out there. I think waiting for end of turn on the mag bolt is really preferred, especially since Proto Man's gonna wanna be camping forward most of the time. And then you should go into the next turn with your opponent in paralysis, which would have been really strong. Ooh, Ooh nice. Oh! Black weapon will be used next, but there we go seeing that. Oh, oh whoa. That's a powerful chip charge. A charge attack. Oh, that was a powerful grab revenge. Oh, and we see the HP drain. Oh, it isn't looking good. Oh, no. That, oh, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, wait, that was amazing. <laughs> Survival. <laughs> that, that was definitely not what I expected to happen. <laughs> Yeah, very nice, bro. But can you make it through the next turn? You got to deal 828 damage in one turn without being hit. Well, that's a rough one to say, but apparently I think the sand panels have run out that does grant some movement. But when your opponent can just bust your gun for game, I don't know what you do here. Oh, they're going for a charge shot. Oh, oh that was a mix. That yeah. was a mix.
Okay, so during TFCs, you can release your charge buster and then it will just cancel. So that means you can just get back your pew pew shot. So uh, uh, made the best play possible in that situation. Very nice. Another really quick turn here for Reese. Knows exactly what they're looking for. Didn't try to put on some kind of pressure. And yeah, I mean, as Prosiman, generally your game plan isn't all that difficult. Just area grab and land your swords, basically. <laughs> yeah, true, true, true. You know, there is one major downfall. Oh, the Ooh. It's a body block the pistol grab! Oh my goodness, are you going? He died for it! Oh, <laughs> that ends oh, to man. death again. And now we got the Sully X coming out. It's not really doing much, but again, we see Reason just going for that immediate destruction. Yo, the man's putting in all the work. All the loyal subjects. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let's go. Oh man, you, I, I love this ability so much. I think this is the most beloved ability in the entire game. Everyone loves the Mets. Yeah, I mean, definitely. The only thing that would have really made it perfect is if you can spawn one behind you and mm -hmm. then start by protecting it. Imagine how much better that would have been. But... Uh, would it be better, bro? I, I, I would prefer to use my subjects like pawns. Ooh. You know, you know, that's all possible for me. <laughs> we got your recording, so I don't know. <laughs> First, you say you need protect it, and now subject to. Oh, I mean, okay, so Custard is online. It will be able to get the chip charge here in slow gauge. It does ramp up the damage Ooh. quite a bit and gets rid of that life aura in response, too. Very nice, very nice. The attack on chip charge on Proto Man's chip charge ability is really quick and sometimes it's pretty difficult to react to. So it's pretty good there. I do think, however, it should get its change that was made back. Um, it's supposed to be able to stand over holes with that ability. So that way he can still push out damage. But I think Regan Master removed that. So now holes will block that chip charge ability if you place a hole properly. Would be so an interesting decision for his design. Oh, oh, <laughs> the... so oh he's in this oh, time no. oh, but the, blind, the burner man will line up here. That's a decent amount of damage. The... Oh no, the big uh... man. He's gone. Oh, <laughs> so believe... sad. Is that not the biggest mate you can ever have in the game? Is it? 500 is yeah, the that most, is the, right? that's the biggest. That's the cat. That's that's yeah. that's big boy. That's it. Oh, the shots! Oh, the reef! Yeah, car. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> In our fight too, we played right before we started doing this, the streaming actually, and uh, uh, was playing this so well. I was getting hit by like every single charge shot. Actually, she mixing me. I, I wasn't happy about it. <laughs> yeah, charge does get released fairly quickly, so it can be pretty difficult to avoid, especially if your opponent is looking for these. Mix-ups, as you mentioned. Oh, but now we see that single upgrade being taken into the turn. At least now we have air shoes um, on hand for Rhi as well. Ooh, nice block. Nice. Get the block on that. It's a pretty empty turn because you can't really pressure much, but you can go for shields. Oh! Ooh. That was a good read. But Reese was able to move out in time. Oh, oh, goes for the block, but just barely whiffs. Yeah, actually, now that I'm seeing it, it looks like the roll arrow charger Dang. does have a bit of a slow Dang. travel time, which can throw you off. Like, it's being slow seems like a bad thing, but because it's so slow, you feel like, oh, I still have time, I can dodge this. And you end up yeah, getting it's hit. Like, exactly. It's like in Street Fighter. In Street Fighter, Ryu has a Hadouken that's uh, a little bit slower than usual, but it ends up being an amazing pressure tool when used correctly, which is being showcased here by... <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, in that previous cost, we did see the disadvantage of having to have too many splash chips for reason. They just unfortunately end up having too many chips. They can't really use that well. Ooh, that wind getting dropped. Let's see if that new American. Oh, oh 
Oh, unfortunate, unfortunate. You know, in that situation, it's interesting too. <laughs> oh, another hero variable whiff. No, we just missing it all. What's the roll? A four? Not bad. It gets half by the sanctuary, though, unfortunately. Yes. Or fortunately for Reese, rather. I mean, that roll was pretty good. Dang, yo, this charge <laughs> is just clapping you up. It don't even do that much damage, right? Could you imagine if it didn't flinch or flash? Or rather, if it didn't flash. That would be an amazing charge shot. Oh, man. Ooh. I mean, yeah, just Dang. the mental damage seeing that chip destruction. So, so <laughs> it's, scary. it's spooky, right? It's spooky. And then if it didn't flash, oh my gosh, you'd just be tormented by those arrows. It doesn't do a lot of damage, though. It only does like, what, 30? You can ramp it up to like do 80, but it's not really about the damage with this charge shot. It's really just about the removal. And Prono Man just efficiently dealing with virus busting over here. Yeah, I guess Protoman is the ultimate navi for deleting viruses. Yeah. True! Ooh. Oh! <laughs> no! I don't it! No! No! Did that just happen? Did you just really get eaten? The life aura! You can't sleep on these charge shots! You can't! Yeah, I guess. Oh they, my goodness! They were trying to play patient, maybe wait for like TFC or something, but in the end, that definitely backfires. That hurt my soul. That was a pun. I, I'm sorry, but that hurt <laughs> my soul. That really did. Oh, and for those who are just tuning in, yes, this is a rollback net code awarded to us, but thankfully, and by a large amount of people in our community, most notably Weenie, who developed Tango in the first place. But we do have rollback net code for this game, so this frame rate that we're seeing right here is most definitely the way the game was being played. It was probably this fast, if not even faster. <laughs> rollback is definitely the win con, bro. Yeah, these charges, these charges are doing a lot of damage going through a landing. Oh, nice. Okay. Breeze playing it patient and sticking to the pan. We're seeing a lot of passiveness coming out from Reese's side here. I know last turn he had that. He did have that Muramasa, but since he's not having a lot of his damaging chips in him, he can't really put a lot of pressure, which allows Roll to just go for all these charge shots really nilly. Yeah, I do think it's very difficult. I mean, ooh, ooh nice! Finally, a reflect goes through and deals with the anti damage as well. But yeah, I mean, if you don't have the area, if you don't have any way of planning your charge shot, that's the curse of Prosoman, or just sword chips in general. You need to have a way of uh, uh, confirming them. These buster shots will at least do some damage and give away retaliation. Oh no! <laughs> These charges, they're adding up Just very quickly. Tripping. Yeah. Reason? Cut sword. Oh, he counter hit that cut sword just now. Ooh. But didn't get full synchro for it. Hmm. That was interesting. How, how come he didn't get full synchro for that? Maybe the chip didn't start up yet, and he got hit before the startup even happened? No, that's, that's really messed up. Oh, oh nice. nice! I forgot P-Buster will definitely get rid of that there. I think you should just be throwing out more busters. Yeah, like, get your damage in. That's 10 minute shot. Yeah, I think they're just worried about eating getting hit. Yeah. yeah, true, true, true. It's fair enough. Huh? I think at this point in time, especially if Reese does confirm a hit with Laser Man, he's up on damage judge, and I'm not sure what else uh, uh, has in the back <laughs> of their folder. So I, it's just I'm very fascinated in seeing how this turns out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think if. Freeze is able to use Laserman to maybe reset the attack value to one. 
maybe that way they could actually just trade Buster Show straight away. And they didn't care about taking damage. Nice, nice. get the shield on one. Gotta play the pacing game here. Laser Man is in hand waiting for the opportunity. But here's the issue. I do think that... Uh, uh, has been sitting on some defense for a while now, so maybe that's what it is. They know that there is access to a powerful chip, but it finally oh. comes into play. Recovery Ninja comes into play as well. This will be very oh, difficult. It connects! Okay, this is actually huge! Nice, and they even dodge as well. That's very nice. Nice, just go for your P shots, get your 10 damages in. How we gotta win on damage sets here? How many more turns left? Do you know how much Roll Arrow does? It... 3 damage. Unless it's boosted. 13, 2 more turns. Oh, oh. it comes out! Do you oh, miss no. it? Oh, he just gets hit by the arrow on the way back, too! Oh my gosh, you're cutting it close! You're cutting oh, it real no. close! The this is gonna be such a close game. Oh my gosh. Alright, go keep going for your beast shots. You have to rack up damage somehow. You have to have to rack up this damage somehow. Yeah, you gotta go for your P-Shots. Damage is ramping here. Oh god, he gets the clip, he gets the clip from the shield. Oh, that's, oh, I wonder how close this is. Okay, he goes for the shield. Oh, this is so close. All right, all right, Ooh, one more turn. Oh, no. <laughs> they also start to go for P-Shots. This is in the final 15 seconds. Oh, 10 seconds, I think, isn't it? Oh yeah, it's 10 seconds, 10 seconds. Ooh, looking very Getting close. Shot. No, don't take me shots too much. All right, you should be winning on time, right? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. wasn't close. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. <laughs> oh, I was about to say. Yeah. Wait. That was all in game two. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, oh my gosh. That was a close game. Oh no. All right, and now we'll see if we'll have the three for three with the. <laughs> with Reese just destroying that 10 1 mech. Oh my gosh. Okay, so at this point, you have to respect the mech, right? You're not gonna just raw throw out an area grab before you see anything on the board, right? That's, that's how that's how Roll gets you. Yeah, it is very interesting that it just starts with occupying that panel and immediately. Oh, there it goes, yeah. And. <laughs> And once again, just throws the air you grab right into it. <laughs> and the barrier too! Uh, wow! Okay, Reese just opted for immediate deletion. He's just, <laughs> I'm done with this. <laughs> nice. Oh, to my hit with your own attack. To be honest, I'm not sure I really like the palette swap for the Navi summon. Yeah, me neither. Oh, was able to get that cut sword chip charged in too. That was kind of nice. So I believe they only destroyed like barrier. So <laughs> they didn't quite do much. Yeah. Unfortunately, though, I I also have to say I'm not really sure if I like the custom sword. Right? It it only doubled at about 120, I believe. Yeah. Or maybe less. So you're only getting 200 out of it. I guess that's okay. But it's not much better than a sword or a blade. Okay, here you go, comes down, just one more. Nice. nice! I love that. Going for the charge there to make your opponent conditioned to try and like avoid moving forward and then just confirming down that area grab. Excellent play from Reese here. I definitely think you should be camping forward more aggressively here, in fact, because you want to make sure that all this damage sticks. And I would definitely go for like slow gauge. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's the right play. Very nice, very nice. Well, how does upgrade interact with Black Book then? Do they... Because... So it depends on what goes first, right? Yeah. If you upgrade first, then go for Black Weapon, you'll have Attack 10. But if you Black Weapon first and then upgrade, you already have Attack 5, so it's not going to go over. Yeah, okay. right? So, similar to BN6. Right. Case, yeah. By now being able to let these attack 10 or attack 9, I believe. I hold, it, hold it. Ooh, I would have hold it. Grab Revenge coming out. Well, I think the issue with holding is being hit by a roll arrow. <laughs> oh, true. If this comes out, oh, that's another turn. Oh, oh, oh. You just got hit by a 220 sword. How do you <laughs> feel? 
That was a 200 damage cyber sword, my boy. I wouldn't be charging. Oh, yep. okay, Ooh, now you go for charges. These charges, these charges, Bruce, doing over 200 yes. damage. Yes, it is insanely powerful at attack five. Upgrade is in hand now. Actually, I think you sit on it waiting for Laser Man and perhaps Blue Moon to come out into play. But this definitely showcases how powerful Proto Man's White Sword attack is if you allow him to get in on your area. Yeah, and I mean, that's kind of the point. Like, that's his thing, mm -hmm. so <laughs> makes sense. Um, mm -hmm. Ooh, video might come down. So that would regain the area, but let's see if there is a way to push up the area. Which is the main Wind thing. Rack would be the best follow up. No Wind Rack follow up. Goes for a charge shot. Laser Man comes out. Oh no, this is actually looking. Oh, oh no. Why though? Uh, okay, we have Great Revenge. No, there was no reason to move back there. I guess they wanted the new barrier, but let's see if it does connect though. That's the oh no, Barry is going to just strap block it and the missed input anyway. Whoa. Oh, he reduced your buster to one! That's so oh. brutal! <laughs> oh, yo! They, excuse me, they reduced your buster to one. I apologize. But that's crazy. Car alarms just stayed up. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> just stayed up, reduced the buster back to one. So the investment of black weapon and bug fix completely negated there. So powerful. Ooh, a Mets come down as well as recovery. The Mets go That to will be deal safe. with the anti damage. Oh no. The pro Mets just. That charge shot is just efficiently yeah. eliminating the problem. And once again, in the same exact position as before, but now we have upgrade as well. This is a very, very tough position to be in for. <laughs> <laughs> This yeah. is not gonna get old, I'm sorry. <laughs> they, at least they do have the 50-50 is nice. They were able to avoid some of these charge shots. It's definitely a difficult position to be in, but very well played from them, playing the mind games. Nice, excellent play from Reese here. You know, I, a long time ago, Reese came to me and said, I don't understand how to play Proto Man. What am I doing wrong? And I told him one thing, press forward. <laughs> That's <laughs> all you do, bro. Hold forward and you don't let that go. <laughs> and ever since then, this, his Proto Man play has improved dramatically. Who knew that holding forward was the win con? <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> even in just standard BN, you... Holding forward is actually a very strong strategy. Denies your opponent's area, allows you to push your own area. And now this is a very difficult position um, to be in. It's very true. Holding forward is very, very powerful. It's, it's, it's scary, of course, right? You don't really know what your opponent's going to throw out. You want time to react, which naturally pushes you to the back of the of the the field but when you do that it allows your opponent the opportunity to just get their area grabs in get whatever control they want to get down but by pushing forward yeah you put yourself in a position to get attacked but at the same time yo i think i think the mess survives that's crazy Oh, yeah it's interesting technology to know about that was amazing. Okay, so because it didn't spawn correctly, the damage didn't register from the Shade Man. He he survived. That was pretty cool. Excellent game from both players. That was a lot of fun to watch. Very long one, too. That was a lot longer than I expected yeah. it to be. <laughs> yeah, definitely a fun match. And the poor, the poor Mets just... I don't think a single one survived the full turn. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. I just looked at the sheets for the next match. And I just don't know how I feel at this point in time. Well, with that ominous, uh, with that ominous warning from Sol, let's head into setups and see what they look like. All right, here we go. I mean, the pa which part in particular <laughs> you, you mean? Because there's so much going on here. <laughs> Of course, I'm talking about the art. You know, look, first of all, look at R Rurik Arvalon, right? <laughs> Burning Woodman. That is so good, especially since he's playing Burner Man SP in the folder as well. Oh man, that's hilarious. And then on the other side, 
we see dads <laughs> roll small girl just doing whatever role things do with the barrier and the Mets. The Mets in the forefront. <laughs> this part yeah. is perfect, bro. Yeah. I feel like this is the perfect match to show after the one we just had. We just saw the Bears. poor Mets getting destroyed instantly and now drugs are bad just coming in with an army of Mets preparing for she, a fight. She, she knew what she drew. She knew what it was. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> she drew the roll with the barrier and then put the Mets. That's, all, that's what you do. <laughs> it's perfect. Oh, but poor, poor Woodman. I, it just looks so w- painful. Like, I, I just, this is distressing for sure. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I just realized Rurik is playing Gutsman. He's not even playing Woodman. I think. <laughs> 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 to be honest, that got me as well. Uh, do we have? Is this the right one? Is, is it actually got? Oh my god! Yo, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, bro? <laughs> what are we doing? Oh man, that's hilarious! You really don't like what man? You just don't like him. <laughs> is this why we're playing the burner man? <laughs> is this like we just don't like guts? No, what man at this point in time? That's that's hilarious. Oh my gosh. Okay, well since since you are playing guts man, I, I will go over the build a little bit because this is a newer navy we haven't seen yet. So guts man, interesting navy has super armor. If you have super armor, air shoes, and float shoes. In some capacity, your Navi's already an upper tier Navi, right? I feel like those are such powerful programs to have available to you. Having Super Armor definitely does that for Gutsman. But what even pushes him further beyond is that non-dim and non-panel and uh, panel breaking non-dimming chips, right? Panel breaking, no, non-dimming chips, excuse me. Get an attack bonus of plus 30. So that means your Vulcans are getting plus 30 added to them. So they're, they're hurting a lot. It's doing a lot of extra damage. And we definitely see Vulcan in three ways capacity here. Super Vulcan in here. Vulcan. Is there is infinite Vulcan in this game? I don't remember. Because we see Vulcan 1, 2, and 3 all on the same or similar codes with Vulcan 1 in the stars for fluidity. But we we could see infinite Vulcan come out here with attack plus 30 and natively that's that's pretty gross I'm surprised we don't see double point and another attack plus 30 in this folder just to make that that turn a super Vulcan even more powerful but I guess that does beg the question that there is no white capsule in this game so it's not like you, you can make these things stick if your opponent has super armor themselves they'll be able to walk right out of it but for every other Navi if you are able to confirm even laser man to remove that aura you will be or not aura you to remove that super armor you will be able to confirm the hits pretty easily because your opponent will be flinching through most of it but that also triggers rage which gives pseudo super armor so they'll be able to walk out of it anyway it's interesting maybe that's why we didn't go for the extra stats into it because of rage that makes sense actually and i mean ooh, that's that's quite a lot of Vulcan. Yes, that's, that's a lot of Vulcans. In, in Ox. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Get out. Get yeah. out. Get <laughs> out. No. Oh, I mean, that, that wasn't great. That, not, no, it <laughs> wasn't. <laughs> that <laughs> that was better ones before, but. Oh, but I hate it here. You know? Ooh. Vulcans. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, so we're going to see a lot of Vulcan play. Um, there are barriers in play, thanks to that charge shot for drugs are bad. But I don't know. We'll have to see how this plays out. All right, let's head into the mic and see how it goes. Oh, it seems like it's another double fod here. Oh my gosh, look at all these Vulcans. Yeah. <laughs> this is so scary. <laughs> All right, so one thing I briefly didn't touch on is that Gutsman's charge shots are the Guts Hammer and the Guts Machine Gun. The Guts Hammer, very straightforward. He throws down his giant hammer in his frontmost panel in a cyber sword range or a sword range. And it also drops a couple of bricks and cracks like one or two panels. 
the guest machine gun, as it says, acts like a machine gun. If you walk into it, you'll be flinching, and at the very end, it causes splashing. All right, now, again, we can see both points of views from the players, so it might be easier to just try to focus on one of them, and then maybe during the setups, look at both, see what each is bringing into the tank. Ooh, and we see that Tippity being placed behind them, so now they can protect it and counter it, oh, guys! Oh, oh. The, the counter hit into a full sink and oh, that was so much damage! Roll's HP melted, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's literally half! <laughs> we just started! <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, what? Yes, but unfortunately, this position could actually be bad for drugs. For, I mean, Rorik, because if they are standing in place, that puts them at risk of taking all of these charge shots. And we saw what roll charge shots can do, so... Barrier does come up. You're gonna want to clear that somehow. Nice, just goes for it. Okay, well, actually, I think going for the Super Vulcan in this situation was pretty bad because now your Gutsman is locked into this positioning, and it's not like you could cross-cancel or beast out or do any kind of thing like that to remove that animation from yourself. We're kind of stuck here now. So that means your opponent has the ability to follow up with their own kind of strategy, but it seems like Dab doesn't have anything immediately to go for, and they just kind of double up on defenses. Oh, actually, one thing I've just realized that using the Mets in this matchup is going to be very good for Drugs Are Bad because they can just hide behind the Met and avoid all of the damage from the charge shots. I mean, from the Ooh. Vulcan. True. I mean, the Vulcan also hits the space behind the Met, so it will actually be able to pierce through and do some decent damage. But it, it does, if they're like in all the way in the front row and Drugs is all the way in the back row, then it's it will dodge most of it. I think that's what you mean, right? Yeah, just hiding yeah, yeah, yeah. far away behind it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Both players just in a tall mate. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Oh, and now Waiting actually... for the end of turn, man. I, I actually really like the decision making by Dab here. Waiting for the very near end of the turn and goes for it. Oh. Oh. Almost and yeah, now we can also see which chips are, or if any, getting destroyed um, from her thanks to the double jump. Just this one in hand, that's not going to really hit well, but we'll see how this shakes out. Oh man, Roll Arrow just doing so much. Windman, haven't seen him for a while. It was once a guaranteed staple in most builds because of the properties of removing barriers and auras, as well as doing damage and anti damage dealing with that as well. But ever since the change that it oh, has man. collision hitboxes, people have seemed to drop it. Oh. oh, okay, yeah, upgrade was used. I was about to say, because I did not realize Gutsman had a cut eight. Yeah. But yeah, that's, <laughs> that shook me for a minute. I'm not going to lie to you. But he has cut six. So <laughs> he used upgrade already. So that's giving him access to all these these cards in hand. I definitely like Timpani in a build like this. I definitely feel like there should be one or two, not just one, because it allows you to guarantee your Vulcan setups. Especially against Navis with super armor. Yeah, though I feel like a build like that would really struggle against something like Woodman, who's running. Uh, is it Woodman that has super armor and. Uh, yeah, he has super armor. Yeah. But because Tiffany locks you in place, you can't move regardless, right? So you can still. I mean, you're going to get hit, probably, but you might more likely get a counter hit if they try to use a chip or an attack. Because of how Vulcan works. Yeah, that's true. We still haven't seen any Mets coming out from Drugs and Bad, but Rogue's setting up for a very big Vulcan turn. They can change this. This could actually be enough for game. And, and that is the oh, 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 the Oh, the counter hit! Wait. Is that base? Do it. Do it. Do it. Oh, dab, no. Dab, 
Please. Dad, please. Oh, it's, so it's over. It's over. Wait. It's over. Oh, no, wait. Oh, no. <laughs> no way! Oh my god, what is this? Oh no, man. I did not expect that for some reason. Oh my gosh. The, the time stuff rage induced based anomaly denied by some tape. <laughs> no, I'm so upset. I'm so upset. Oh man. How much Dad, I'm so damage sorry. is that? that? That was gruesome. That is so oh, much damage. Oh man. I saw the 1 HP and I felt so safe. Yeah. I, I felt felt a rewarded even. You know, I just who submitted this match? I'm upset with this person. <laughs> Yo. Oh man. That was crazy. I, you know what? I, I think I know why that happened. This was punishment for drugs are bad because they haven't used Mets yet. They abandoned the trusty Mets in this match and this is what happens. Oh, wow, okay. Barrier is gone, at least. Oh, this is a really interesting predicament to be in. Oh, okay. It uses the mag bolt to go ahead and clear out the timpani in the back, which is the perfect idea, especially since Dab really recognized that Gusman had Invis still up, and the fast gauge up, of course, means you're not going to really get hit for the rest of this turn. Really nice adjustment. All right, Dab goes up for a barrier here. That barrier charge shot, so good. Ooh. Nice, gets not a counter hit, but we'll get two hits out of this, so that's 480 out this damage. Really good Giga, excuse me, Mega Chip. That's actually very interesting. So if this was Button Torque 6, then that barrier would have just immediately been destroyed. But yeah. somehow this works differently and that barrier actually didn't take any damage. Yeah, it's interesting. Oh, wow. Maybe that could be something to highlight to Brigamaster. Ooh. Ooh. The prop bombs really slept on, does a great amount of damage, and gets a nice wide around the area if you are a plus one area on your opponent. Also, it could be turned into a met, which is what I like the most. You know, I'm really shocked. And pleased that Dab opted to play base anomaly in her build because base anomaly really, really gets donked on in this format with all the holes that are made, and of course, the access to anti navy really kind of shuts him down. You have to wait around until your opponent uses anti navy before you try to prop down a base anomaly, it's pretty tough. But if you know your opponent doesn't play anti um, anti navy, then you can just drop base as safely as you want. But honestly, I think this format warrants anti navy in almost every build, simply because it denies a lot of the me the, the mega chips. It can deny a couple of the giga chips and laser man's thing. So getting hit with laser man is just not fun for anybody. <laughs> well, fun for you really. So you want to be able to have another way to scare your opponent into not just using it willy nilly. I mean, we got it here on, got it here on recording. Sol says, I mean, I don't know why I'm surprised, but Sol likes the, likes base more than the 500 HP met. I, I feel like I'm so disappointed yet. It's so expected. Tell me you would turn, you would turn base into a met. No, that's what I'm saying. You should use something other than base so you can get high HP met. Base isn't really good met material. That's, that's just how it is. I can't believe you just said that to me. Unflinchingly. Like, you just you just said it. Like, <laughs> I mean, wasn't there that one video where there was like three Mets fighting against bosses? And I'm pretty sure they... They can they try. I'm pretty sure they can win against a base. So I don't know about oh, that. No. So like... <laughs> no. 
Yo, can someone draw me fan art of <laughs> what Target Yosh in Twitch chat is saying? He says, imagine base, but in met form. I just want base <laughs> met now. Can someone draw me fan art of base met? I'll take it. Thank you. I'll make it my new Discord image immediately. It has to be colorized, of course. might seem okay. like there's quite a bit of an HP difference between them, but this can very easily be a comeback, as we saw last game. I mean, the, that was such a crazy comeback, especially with all of these Vulcans in hand that uh, Murak could just go for. Both for the grab revenge, gonna get tons of area back, which is really nice. Oh, Ooh. taking the damage from that. Oh, step forward. Nice. Good movement there, Dad. That was scary. That really felt <laughs> intimidating just now. Oh, oh no. no! Gets it to the back. Yo! Yo! What? The rage. <laughs> this is why it's so bad. The rage. It just, it does too much. If that rage didn't trigger there, that was a hundred percent game. Oh man, that was excellent. That was excellent. <laughs> Yo. That was almost going to be a repeat of the first game where base times two gets denied by counterplay, but the very last second, I think that was literally just few friends away from the just game a ending. Few. Oh man, Dang, that was so close. Now we oh, have I love this game. Like, this is so much. Like I, this game is just so good. Symphony gonna limit movement here because of this this giant Metal Gear. You know, it took me a while to realize that they made Metal Gear as homage to Metal Gear the series because it, it's Cap. It's Capcom. You, it's the other way around, isn't it? They. They named the game after this. Uh, we all know Button Talk Far West Fast, but clearly. True. <laughs> Come on, sir. <laughs> I'm trying to keep up. I'm my bad, bro. Sorry. My bad, bro. <laughs> my bad, bro. I, I, first, I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> first it was Pokemon copying Button Talk, and now it's Metal Gear. No, What's next? Am I right? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, it's so true. I, I'm just getting my history mixed up, man. You know, I don't know anything. Man. It's crazy. Out here. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be getting these mix up, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Interesting turn here. Oh, wow. Okay, that was that was cool. I didn't realize that just this one just straight up broke the Metal Gear. I guess it's not truly impervious. It's not quite as solid as you might expect. Nice sequencing! Magbolt again into the double hit of Sparkman! Ooh. Oh, the, oh, the, the blind! The oh, That's yeah. right, he's, he's blind. He didn't see. Blind status effect is so strong. Very de dis uh, deliberating. Debilla. Debilitating. There you go. Debilitating. I don't know. We're go. deliberating. <laughs> Hold on. An English major here. <laughs> you know, every time I see the Met symbol, sometimes I mistake it for search. And I'm like, why does search chat? Why is search there? <laughs> I was just like, wait, that, that's not right. Wow, sparsely using Mets in this game. You hate to see it. Ooh, are we gonna get the hit though? Oh, just barely. The timing's a little weird for first timers too. It's a little difficult to get used to. You 
know, I do find it very interesting that the barrier doesn't take any damage from the Vulcan. Oh! Windman! Super armor so good that will interrupt him because you don't have super armor of your own. Very nice worked out there. The fast speeds come down this will make it very difficult for these Vulcans to connect. Let's see if they come out. Oh, slip. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely would like to see another Timpani in here. I feel like in this position, you can just try and use the Timpani with the Bill anyway because they have no space. <laughs> Oh no! No, not first. Not first. Not first. You're in animation. You don't want it first. You don't want that wind rock first. Oh, I tried. Are you gonna get punished? No. No punish. No punish. No punish. I mean, the punish is having one HP and risking getting deleted right there. So <laughs> this will see if they can survive. True. 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 Oh, oh, the oh. That was amazing! Yo, that was hot! Yo, using the turn shot to buffer out that anti damage just a little while longer. That was so hot. Uh, spawn camped. Yeah. Unfortunate. <laughs> nice try, nice try. Yeah, there was definitely a very interesting build. I mean, I feel like something like this was something we could have seen in Infinite Beast for standard BN6, but no one ever mm -hmm. really went for it. But definitely does shine in here where no one is running Super Armor, pretty much. Eh? <laughs> but yeah, definitely well played to both sides. But unfortunately, that will bring us into our next match, which is our final match for the day with Alpha vs Floptart, aka <laughs> <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you're much better at making the alarm sound than me. <laughs> oh my, it's funny no matter what though. <laughs> okay, now we saw both players earlier. We know what the game plan is. We ball is life, first of all, of, of course, and Mets are life. So we're seeing basketball versus Mets. That's basically what's happening here, and we're going to see which one's better. That's pretty much it. <laughs> I don't think there's, uh, there's too much. Uh, do I have to say that the roll does look like a basketball? It's just mm. Mm. that's that's obviously very astute of you. Uh, <laughs> it do kind of look like a hoop. Maybe maybe roll be hooping too. Who knows? Yeah, maybe, but. Yeah, do you think? Do you have anything else before we head into a final match? Uh, no, I think we're good. Let's get this. Let's get this going. And I, I will talk a little bit about base here, actually. Now, the thing with base is, I really like the regged busted bug fix, but because because you have cut five, I often find that having a second bug fix. Is a little bit, a little rough, right? There are some advantages to having cuss, uh, attack nine versus attack ten. I know usually attack ten clears anti damage, but having a way to deal damage through anti damage and not proccing it is really scary too. So even at having attack nine is, it's interesting. I'm reading a comment in Twitch chat, and it's triggering me. <laughs> the thing with base is, comma, I really like ellipsis. <laughs> so X cross. It's, it's, it's just true. It's true, Ron. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, man. <laughs> oh, man. That's a big map. That is a big bet. So this is actually very interesting. So this is very difficult, very different playstyle compared to the previous match. So Drugs are mm -hmm. bad was barely using the Mets, but now we have <laughs> Okay. We have um, <laughs> going uh, for all Mets playstyle. I almost said their name wrong. I, I caught myself. 
You know, in Twitch chat, uh, K3 does say that Base wins this matchup. I don't think it's that free. I think that Base has a lot going for him, against him, in this matchup. The quickness for the chip char the charge shot for Roll Arrow is very, very powerful. During your, your charges, it's either taking too long, so you'll get interrupted by a an arrow before darkness overload fully charges or your mid charge shot with shooting buster and you get punished with a with a roll arrow no matter what so it's actually really scary for base this matchup I believe that was Black Rock, wasn't it? Already getting it so quickly. Mm-hmm. I definitely love the fact that the barrier covers the, the Met too. <laughs> and mm -mm -mm is just defending the Met with their body, and it's making me upset as well, because I just want the Met destroyed at this point. I mean, no, I mean, like, the Met, the Met is doing a great job, and it's putting a lot of pressure on base, and it's doing great. And I want it to stay around for as no long bite. as possible. No bite. Can't forget to say, no bias, no bias. No bias, no bias, no bias, no bias. True, 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 true. Like, why would I ever be biased towards like one person? You know, I, I don't, I don't do that. So yeah, even a fish, you might say. But no, would, true, true. That would be pretty fishy. No, <laughs> a little sus, if you will. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. That but basically took no damage thanks to the barrier. And banner might come down doing. Oh, all heads, nice. With the oh, <laughs> yikes. Ooh. Oh, yikes. Being put in place for too long is really tough for base. You see uh, the anti-damage just interrupting everything, too. Yeah, it's, it's, a little, it's, a little, it's a little rough. I definitely like that car alarms. <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> it's camping for it <laughs> very well right now. This denies... Oh, wait. Actually, the placement of the Met also denies the O. You're kind of forced to have to go for... Oh, it hits Oh, it hits both! <laughs> oh, I didn't know that! That's just you really interesting! Oh, that was sad. I was just going to say that the Met was doing a really good job, actually, in avoiding these charge shots. But, unfortunately, ends up dying to the uh, rubber vent. Now, we saw ball mode come up earlier before, right? And... Alpha was able to use it to make a bunch of holes in the opponent's folder, and now there's no possible way for you to move around too much, and I can just go ahead and go for these charge shots unembedded. But it is a new turn. There could be a... a grab band revenge in hand, or even, like, video man in hand for... for roll here, so I don't know. Both players, their HP is actually fairly similar, so this could... Ooh, we see a big mess. How much HP does it have? 280. Ooh, nice. It's a big old mat. I'm dropping this metal, Joe. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We got new damage on this mat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, nah. The oh. And, and there goes Bomb Wall. Oh, but this barrier is so pesky. Oh, step too far back here. Oh, almost got clipped oh, by no. the mat there. Targeting oh, the oh, mat! But no, cuss five strikes again. Oh. No damage in the hand to capitalize off of this full synchro. Oh, that's really upsetting. Oh, what is this frame? What is this frame on base right now? Like, <laughs> yeah, hold up, someone clip this. <laughs> what is this frame? And the poor Matt is just closing his eyes. He's just taking damage. Poor Matt. Oh my gosh. He's like, it hurts. It hurts. Please help. <laughs> no. Oh. Goodbye, Matt. Big sad. Oh, oh, oh. man! I went down too far! Ah, oh, that was tough! Oh, nice. Oh. By his, yeah, playing the mind games, waiting for the other person's charge shot. So Jeez. Yeah, Roll's charge shot is just so quick. It's really easy to punish that charge shot from base, especially since it takes a lot of wind-up time to get it started. 
really rough, really rough. Although with a hand like this, swapping to Darkness Overlord does seem to be very tempting. All these air grabs and defense. Yes, yes. Using Life Ore is going to be very important for helping solidify this damage from Darkness Overlord. Oh, step back. Oh, yeah, this is a rough place to be in. Life Ore does come down as well. Walk forward and camp. You stay right there. We live here now. This is our life. Yep. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Not the laser, man. <laughs> nice. That was a good time. Oh, oh no. got clips on you. Oh, there goes. Oh, nice. sorry, another one lands. The barrier comes up. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, they might be able to place the. Wait, can you put an object and block yourself from using darkness over them? Yes, you oh, can. Okay. That's rough. Yeah, an object will block you, even if it's your own. A hole will do it. it there's a lot of ways to counterplay Darkness Overlook. Which is a good thing. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Which is a really good thing. I really like how it even has this special shield frame for it. Yes, it does. I think that was such an amazing touch. The first time I saw it, I think I just fangasmed, man. I just died on the spot. <laughs> yeah, I was like, this is for me. You did this for me, and I love you for it. <laughs> still a Barry 100, isn't it? It's not. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Barry 100. Honestly, it's what saves Darkness Overload. If it didn't have this, there'd be absolutely no upside to this move, and I don't think I would use it ever. Ooh. Okay, so, oh no, Possum connecting. I'm guessing Kenduman doesn't pierce him, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A bit premature for sure. Oh, it's really close now. Ooh. Oh, oh it gets no. clipped, but Searchman was behind that, so that's not too bad. Ooh. And it's nice. deletion. All right, so we really need to dance around. I think going to the back row is the most... Oh, no. Nah. Because you don't want to... No. Nah. Oh, okay, shooting punch that gets punished here. Oh, there's HP 1300. Go for Dio. Go for Dio. No? Oh, I think that's interesting. I think that's a bad choice. I think... D okay, so Dio forces you to go to the back panel behind you. But what ends up happening is you can still camp forward and keep the area and still go for darkness overloads that won't miss, right? Especially since you have the extra HP and invisible, most of all. Oh, but the oh. life for Well, Dio would break the life for it too. Oh. Right, I'm because he has the, the black weapon and of course, yeah, that would be more than enough. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, stuck in place. What's the follow-up? That's a lot of damage. <laughs> Just shoot. Laser that man. Okay, that's pretty good. That will get rid of the barrier here. There we go. Going for Dio here. Signal red. Oh, you don't want to place it behind you, really. I mean, you kind of have to. You only need the one charger. And the... Yeah, I don't know. It's a very difficult position to be in because you don't want to step back, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Oh, nice, got the way forward there. Oh, wait, why did the area not expire? Oh, okay, wow, that was a tough game. Oh, what is this, game two? Yep, here we go. So this is this is one of the other problems that I have with base two. Even if you get the early bug black weapon and bug fix, right? Let's say you do draw those really early on. You're forced into a position where you don't want to use them because you haven't seen Laser Man yet. Laser Man, if that confirms, it reduces your buster to one and you lose all of that value on a cusp five. But because you're cusp five, it kind of forces you to want to take it faster. I think even cusp six would have a problem with this. Like, I know a lot of people say cusp six would be more than enough to solve this issue for base, but I, I just disagree. He has to hold on to these chips still longer. And if he has a reg chip, that's two chips that he's sitting on for longer. You know, it's, it's a rough situation to be in. It's not easily solved. Yeah. 
and I guess you really don't want to use the black open just on its own because it's nope. just going, yeah, the, the HP drain, is it basically like beast over HP drain? Yes, it's literally beast over HP drain. And that's how it, the max HP drain was in 4.5 and down there for in Battle Rank 4, it didn't matter as much, obviously, because of mod cards. But here, we don't have that. So it's like, it's definitely really rough. And even if Alpha goes for it right now, right? Because he doesn't play upgrade in the folder, he plays... Well, let me see. Signal Red, right. Because he doesn't play upgrade, that means if it does get reduced, it's just gone for the rest of the match. <clears throat> and you'll have attack one for the whole match. I mean, he has two uh, buster ups in the folder as well. So it's not too bad, but I don't know. When, as things should be, we see the Met is being protected instead of the Met protecting. Oh. Which is disgusting. <laughs> absolutely filthy. I don't think this is the play you should be. You have to use your pawns effectively for your betterment, not, not the pawn's betterment, right? I can't believe Ooh. you keep seeing it, so it's, it keeps it going worse and worse. <laughs> Ooh, this is probably why I lost the phone, sorry. <laughs> oh, ooh. Ooh. Nice. Double life sword, very nice. Uh, anger goes into a blank chip there. I, I I know anger or full sink into anti damage seems cool, but sometimes I just feel like it's an absolute waste. <laughs> full sink roll. But you don't yeah. have a choice because that's the one that's next in your hand. Yeah, they couldn't really hold on to it. I mean, just waste the anti damage anyway because they would have been hit by something else. Exactly. So. Exactly. Oh, HP drains going so quickly. And slow gauge, they not gonna make that better no it's definitely not oh but you can trap flop Ooh. here yeah nice but no if you yeah. oh, no, no, okay. oh you should have camped forward okay that's that's really scary actually you don't want to camp in the middle there because if you don't move then you get hit by the number ball like that yeah that was a scary position to be in oh this an hp drain mm -hmm. and the roll arrow would have been another threat as well Another really big thing about base versus uh, roll, it's not easy to clear out the Mets because your 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 charge shot does 30 per hit, yeah, which is okay, but it's just not getting the quickness of deletion that you need, especially since you're vulnerable to these arrows in the background. So while you're trying to punish this Met, you're just getting shot at anyway. It, it's very tough. Oh, and there you go. <laughs> the best <laughs> defense, standing still. <laughs> Dio completely denied because you're in that panel. There's nothing he can do this round now. Oh. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> There's nothing he can do this round. <laughs> yeah, this, this is it. This, you're done. There's nothing you can do. That is the best defense. I will stand right here and you're good. <laughs> no, base is not great. <laughs> yeah, like, he's not good at this game, bro. <laughs> Just use a different Abby. I will always use base because base is my boy. You know, I love base. But he's not good, bro. <laughs> he... oh, oh, no. No. oh, that deletes your undershirt. Yeah, you're done. Yeah. Yeah, GG. <laughs> GG. Does it happen often? But you do see it once in a blue moon. To... It's pretty strong. You get you. He's D. Easy. No, no, I'm not happy. I'm not happy with you right now. I'm, I'm not happy with you right now, bro. Wait, really? Really? <laughs> oh my gosh, you're killing me here, bro. Yo, See, these oh, opportunities, you can't let them through. <laughs> What makes me mad is that you're right. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not all your fun, but it's true. Like it, it bothers me. Oh man. Whew. Oh, 
start with the All right. Up. I heard the map here. There it is. Yeah. Oh, originally, the map always appeared in the frontmost row. So it could have been a lot worse. That net could have been body blocking area. <laughs> so it, it gets really disgusting. But it, I think it was nerfed to go back to that your your front row. Yeah, it used to be really rough. I thought it was because the area drop area crap got dropped afterwards. But yeah, I don't know. It makes sense. You do, you don't want to have uh, a med just sitting there holding all the area. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe it does go to frontmost panel. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm misremembering something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Can someone confirm? <laughs> <laughs> Can someone <laughs> confirm? <laughs> Yo, let's go to the front. Oh man, that's broken. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's just always go to the front. Oh, I thought that was nerfed. Yikes, that's so good. Let's are just disgusting. There you go. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Love the Mets. Gotta have the Mets. Yikes. True. Flop Tart says they're the boys. They hold area so good. It's true. It's true. It's true. Wait, who? Who said that? Okay. I thought. My bad. I, I forgot who I was talking about for a second. <laughs> He ain't even look. He only hit the met one time with that volley, and none this time. He cannot clear these mets. Not this time at all either. Yo, the <laughs> mets are just doing too much right now. They zoning. They're putting pressure on your area. They're body blocking your grab revenge if they're standing in front of the met. What do you do? What do you? How do you answer this, bro? I mean, I've, said it, I've said it before, but there was that video with like three mets or something. Deleting bosses, uh, you can't underestimate these vets. True! True! There is still quite a bit of an HP lead for Alpha in here. So I think we yeah. still haven't seen recoveries coming out. Yeah, I, I don't think this is looking bad for Alpha at all, actually. Despite all the disadvantages, he's still maintaining a good lead. He's still maintaining position. He's a little down in area, but... <laughs> it's the defenses, honestly. All these defenses just adding up and giving him some time to do something. Actually, I want... Can he use recoveries to spawn new maps? You can't, right? I don't think so. It has to have a damage value. Okay. Oh, yo, the anti damage prioritized yeah. the Met. That's crazy. Yo, yo, Mets are ridiculous. <laughs> oh, Mets are ridiculous. They really are just pull space. Oh, not pull Another move. Blue moon. Oh, but now there is the anger, though, which is going to be an issue because these yeah, chakras. Space, will... what, he doesn't have anything to capitalize on it because he played to his strengths. So you have just uh, a couple of good grabs, wrenches, and. Oh, okay. We get the times two on the meta gel, so there's that, I guess. I mean, like, you get to keep your charge shot. You don't get interrupted when doing your charge shot. So that, I don't know. I feel like that's a pretty big plus. That's a decent amount of value. That's true. That's true. Oh, Maybe. Maybe we clear the Met here. Yeah. With one of the, <laughs> maybe we actually get to clear Mets for once. Wow, we have to be losing in order to get value to kill Mets. That's, isn't that so crazy? <laughs> Yo, we, we have to be getting our butts whooped. Well, recovery is coming down, though. This is good. This is pretty difficult position. And this Met is... Um, oh, still alive? Okay. <laughs> oh, that's right. The Buster was reduced in damage. So only did 15 that time. That's crazy. Big hammer. Nice. Wait, can you only spawn one mech? If you try to spawn another one, does it... No, you happen? can't spawn it. You can only have one in play at a time. Yeah, but does but it don't worry, it's coming right back. Would it replace it or does it just not work? It doesn't work. Ooh. Like, the button is unusable while you have a mech in play already. Ah, okay. Okay, I see. That's quite a drawback. The drawback is only having one mech? 
Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, I mean, if you have if you, if you have a mess with like 50 HP, you you're uh, stuck with that. Yeah, that's what I mean. Oh, true, 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 true. But you can just use another one next turn anyway. So it's like, are they really yeah. gone? That's Do the true. Mets ever disappear? The Mets always live in our hearts, even if they get deleted. Woo! Like this one here. Tiny bit. Ooh, the number, number ball. Ooh, that's a bad trade for you. You're gonna definitely take some damage here. And this life or is really big valley. But let's see if they have anything to this next turn. And yeah, nice. darkness, yeah. Wait, is it darkness overload? Overload. Overload. Load. Okay. As in loading screen. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, nothing to deal with that life for us. Um, no. No. That's five. Wait, what do you, what do you want? You, you gotta use your resources, bro. Ooh. Yeah, just use all four chips. That's what you have to do. That's the, the only way you get through your folder. Wouldn't it be safer to go with the life or the... I mean, but that's one ship. You're not seeing the rest of your folder. I mean, okay, you can get the grab and ball mode. No, not even. Ooh, and now the, the recovery even has a plus 60 on it for, yeah. because it's raw. It's a lot of great value. Recover 300 is so good for all. You're gonna get punished. Don't do it. Oh. 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 That's going to miss though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it misses. Oh, well, oh, it <laughs> oh my goodness. That save. Oh no. I, guess. I think that was a good idea to replenish the barrier into the next turn. So what's really interesting is that after your darkness overload, if you still have a barrier up, it replenishes the barrier. So it goes back to 100. Ooh, that's yeah, he has some interesting tech. Oh, yeah, GG. Ooh, no, not quite. Oh, no. Not quite. OK. Yeah. I, I thought that was it. Ooh, placing it in front. OK, that's actually interesting because now you can, yeah, <laughs> you can use it as a way to tank me. Okay, so the barrier didn't appear, and that's because base took damage in the middle of it. Oh, no. Oh, nice, nice. Windrack will clear. Oh, this is scary. What? Oh, I... yeah. Life or Ash is really good right now. Yeah, I like this decision a lot. I'm not sure if they still Don't have the TFC. Oh, you mm -hmm. got time. Okay. okay, okay, it was safe. Another really good thing about Bo is that it pierces Infus and guards, so you oh. actually cannot block this once oh, it happens. Nah. The new very got interrupted. Yeah, good. I'm glad. <laughs> Come on, son. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was new. Look how much HP you gotta get through. This is rough. And I think it's still attack one. Oh, that's right. It's still attack one. Okay, so bug fixing gives you back your your damage, though. Does it? Oh. Yeah, replenishes all lost abilities. It sends you to like default, basically. So you, you should be dropping the bug fix. Unless they're waiting for black weapon. I guess they are, but even then, I don't feel like that's worth it because like you have 40 HP. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is like, that going to do for you? Yeah. You got to get through that folder somehow. You need to do damage as well. Oh, which one is that? You oh, nice. Ooh, nice barrier, guy. such a good charge shot. By the time you're done charging DO, barrier's already up. That negates it. Nice, oh, excellent. Wow. Very well excellent. played. Excellent. Excellent gameplay. This is so good. Just the barrier. So good. It's just a barrier. A barrier 10. <laughs> Ooh. But now this is bringing us back to black book which maybe it's going to pay out because now they can just use muscle shots it's still not fast enough because by the time you pee shot it off the charge is already filled up for the next barrier just use right? it to do damage like just use your buster shots. You don't even need oh, to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sure, you press B, press B. You're right. You should be pressing B. What's also interesting here is that you recover for pressing B. I think which is something you should be doing. Black think... Weapon gives you a, a small bit of recovery per shot. Oh, it's Ooh. timed out! That's not good. That's that's not good. I think someone in chat said that recovery goes away when you bug fix, but I'm not too sure. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. It goes away when you bug fix. What? That's, that's actually a good change. Yeah, that should be how it is. Ooh, let's see. Oh, uh, no, I don't think this was okay, the right oh. No, I think this is correct. This is uh, absolutely correct. Oh, yeah, okay. You're right, yeah. Now, just with the wind draft, we can just finish the game off. Unless. Oh! Oh, okay. oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Whoo! That was scary. Yo, I thought I thought Alpha came back. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, man. I mean, I thought mm -mm, came back. My bad. That was very close. Very close game. Wow. Yeah. Roll arrow to interrupt there. Wow, that was scary. It was just that flashing at the very end. If they had any chips remaining, then I think they could have closed it there. But yeah, definitely. Excellent games from both players and from all the players that we had on today. That was an excellent stream. I enjoyed every of these, every single one of these games. It was it was a good time. Yeah, it was definitely a lot of fun and it was a lot of great matches. And again, mentioned at the start of the stream, if you're looking for more net battling action, we do have the signups for Link Navis. Uh, the signups for Link Navis are still open. They will be closing today. Link Navis is basically 4.5, just using the BN6 navies instead. So it's slightly different. You have different options, different things, but it's definitely fun. And drawings are still mandatory, which is the main thing. All right, but unfortunately, that was our final match of the stream. Before ending, I do want to give a quick shout out to the donations that we've received during this stream. To, at the very beginning of the day, I believe we had a donation from China TV and then said Christmas during the stream as well as the action. Thank you all for the generosity and your donation. That will bring us on to the credit. Thank you everyone for watching and the huge shout out to Salad for making the stream layout. Even though I did, uh, I did provide the Got list a bit late, but um, Salad stayed up and ended up going through. And mm -hmm. I think Sol wasn't able to see it because he was watching um, the matches themselves instead of the stream. But the transitions are definitely very. Make sure to go back and take a look at them. They were very nice. I definitely will. And thank you again for joining me, Sol, on commentary today. It was a lot of fun. Thanks for having me, man. It's always a great time. I enjoyed being here with you guys at home, too. Yeah, we definitely uncovered a few things about Sol, so we'll, uh, we'll look into that what? a bit in the future. <laughs> but, uh, we'll see what, what we're going to do about that <laughs> met, uh, met statement you've said. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, it seems um in the N1GP chat, Twitch chat. Lee Plepomatic is asking when the next 4.5's turn is. I'm not very sure, but we are definitely having many upcoming tournaments in the foreseeable future. So definitely get involved in the games that we have coming up. It's always a great time. Yeah, so just to briefly explain how things usually work. So New Moon is going to be starting tomorrow on Monday and New Moon lasts for three weeks of normal cycles and then the blood moon which is another four weeks so it's probably not going to be a bit until we have another 4.5 tournament but as always if you head to the NWGP discord you can go to the legacy chat channel which is about is not about the legacy collection is about the legacy game which is uh, anyway so you can go there and play battle for 4.5 or 6 or whichever one all of them can be played even one which is a good one but yeah thank you everyone for watching and hopefully we'll see you again next week with the link link navi tournament stream as well all right goodbye everyone have a good day bye